The American Midwest is well known for its busy railroad main lines. Lincoln, Nebraska is no exception. With up to 100 trains a day, Lincoln and its surrounding areas are some of the busiest in the state. In this video, we will take a peek into Lincoln's everyday life within the railroad. corner of 4th and J Street near the Old Mill Custom Woodworking Shop. This is at the east end of Lincoln's major yard, Hobson Yard. Here, Control Point Hall, the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Main Line splits into three. To the south, BNSF St. Joe Sub. The St. Joe is a connection point for trains getting to the Southern Transcon. Most traffic on the St. Joe is southbound, but you will occasionally see a northbound. Here we see a northbound grain rounding the curve into Hobson Yard. This line mainly receives coal traffic, but you can also see oil, grain manifest in other everyday trains. Heading east down the yard, the Creston sub begins. The Creston is one of the busiest lines in the Lincoln area. On the Creston, you'll find a variety of trains such as grain, coal, intermodal, oil, manifest, and many others. Most oil and grain operate north and south on the Sioux City and St. Joe subs. They'll take the Creston from Ashland to Lincoln before splitting and vice versa. With this, we can see many different foreign locomotives and trains. Here, a CN sand train can be seen crawling into Lincoln on the Creston. Here we see Linlin, a short distance train that runs from Lincoln to Omaha and then back on the same day, entering Lincoln on the Creston subdivision. Back at CP Hall, the single track Hastings subdivision starts. The Hastings sub both runs around the yard and at the west end of the yard. The section of track from Hall to Cog Junction is known as the Yard Bypass or Passenger Main. Got it, ma'am. This track allows for trains to get to the Hastings sub without having to run through the yard. Like Amtrak's California Zephyrs, Intermodals, and other run-throughs operate on the line. The Freight Main, starting at the west end of the yard at Cushman, serves the rest of the trains that run through the yard. Here we see the daily Lincoln and Denver Manifest after just leaving the yard on the freight main. and Amtrak 6 crossing South Street. At Cobb Junction, both lines meet up with each other and head west towards Denver. On 
the west end of the yard, the bustling Ravenna subdivision begins. The Ravenna is a gateway to Wyoming and Montana's Powder River Basin. Both empty and loaded coal trains are the most common, but you can also see manifests such as the Lincoln, the Casper, and the Laurel to Kansas City manifests. Here you see an empty coal train leaving Lincoln Yard on its way to the Powder River Basin. Back on the St. Joe, a few miles south of Hall, the Nebraska City subdivision begins. The Neb City is only a few miles long, and after 56th Street, the line's ownership switches to the Kyle Railroad, a part of the Genesee, Wyoming. This begins the Arbor subdivision. From there, the line operates southeast, somewhat following Nebraska Highway 2. In January of 2021, the tracks between Lincoln and Nebraska City were reopened after sitting dormant for over 17 years. <laughs> travel to the Omaha Public Power District plant in Nebraska City on an average of 1.4 times a day. Many residents complain about the Arbor Line's reopening with the use of horns, especially when trains are running in the night. And the City of Lincoln is currently investigating the installation of quiet zones. Here we see an OMAX coal train headed for Nebraska City. While we focused on action around the yard, let's take a look at Hobson Yard. Hobson Yard is one of the largest yards in Nebraska. Here trains are built, taken apart, fueled, and serviced. Manifest trains are often taken apart and built into other trains within hours. The yard is always hard at work. Here's an example of cars switching trains within 24 hours. At CP 273, South Bend, Nebraska, a Galesburg to Lincoln Manifest headed westbound passes us. Cars on the rear of the train are later seen on the next day's Lincoln Denver Manifest departing the yard. Running in conjunction with the BNSF is both the Union Pacific and Omaha Lincoln and Beatrice Railroads. The Union Pacific interchanges cars with both the BNSF and OLD. The UP line operates between the BNSF interchange at CP Ballpark in Lincoln to Valley, Nebraska, where the line joins with the UP Omaha sub. Trains LNV-46 and LNV-47, 46 running westbound from Council Bluffs, and 47 running eastbound from Lincoln operate daily on a back and forth schedule. The Omaha, Lincoln, and Beatrice short line is primarily based out of Lincoln, where most interchange work is done. Plans were originally made for the railroad to connect the cities of Beatrice, Lincoln, and Omaha, but tracks were never laid. In Lincoln, the Omaha, Lincoln, and Beatrice uses the old Missouri Pacific route, 
which is no longer used and torn up where the Mopac Trail begins past North 23rd Street. A few miles north of Ashland, Nebraska, at Able, the OLMB switches cars and transfers them to the BNSF. Thanks to Tom Jurgens for the majority of the photos of the Omaha, Lincoln, and Beatrice. Here's my only footage of the OLMB ever working. Amtrak's California Zephyrs trains number 5 and 6 also come through Lincoln on a daily basis, usually at night, unless they're running late. Lincoln is also a great location to see vintage locomotives. Fallen flags from both the Burlington Northern and Santa Fe Railroads are common appearances. ATSF war bonnets and BN Cascades show off the BNSF's heritage. Classic H1 SD4A-2s can also be seen. BNSF 570 is a one-of-a-kind unit, being the last B40-8 standard cab on the roster. 570 is based out of Lincoln, and you can see it often. I hope everyone enjoyed this special video covering how the railroads work in Lincoln, and thank you all for 700 subscribers. I've been planning this video for years and it's finally happened. Thanks everyone for watching, and to finish this video, we'll take a look at some trains operating in the Lincoln area. Without a doubt, Lincoln is a place to visit. Car South 1, double check the rail, station 